just had such a nice relaxing slow morning i kind of just want to slow down kind of in today's vlog um just because lately i have felt incredibly just anxious and stressed out and i don't really know why so um i just wanted to like take it slow this morning and i'm about to make one of my favorite teas that i've been making recently it's like a de bloat tea so i've been into having tea either in the morning or at night to like relax my stomach and relax myself honestly so i'm gonna share with you guys my favorite tea that i've been making recently because i got this tea kettle which let me tell you guys this is the by deem um mini kettle and it is the best thing that i've gotten it's like my literal favorite kitchen appliance right now so freaking cute and also it's very portable and convenient so if you are traveling or if you're going camping or something or if you're in a dorm room i've talked a lot about like dorm essentials recently this definitely would be a great dorm essential especially um starting college having like tea at night to wind you down or like green tea in the morning i love this because it's like makes the whole ritual of making tea a lot more fun than just sticking a tea bag and throwing it in the microwave plus it looks so cute like on my kitchen counter so i got it in this really pretty um like mint greenish type color and also it's cool because it stays warm for eight hours so it's going to keep anything that you make in it warm so you can make things like tea you can make ramen in it you can make different kinds of soups beans there's so many different recipes that you can make with this little thing which i think is so cool because it has different um temperature modes and then also different um time modes so there's like 10 minutes 45 and 90 minutes so for example when i make my tea i just steep it for 10 minutes and then it's ready to go and the tea that i'm going to make this morning it's kind of like a deep bloat tea i use pure peppermint tea about one fourth cup of mint and then i'll use half of a lemon and just squeeze that in there i cut up some ginger and then i take this um, turmeric gold liquid drops you don't have to do this but i like to put turmeric in my tea just because it helps a lot with like inflammatory and especially if you are working out a lot and just putting a lot of stress on your muscles um, adding turmeric into your diet is really helpful so i did that and then you just do one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar which i know sounds very scary nobody likes their apple cider vinegar but i swear you can't really taste it that much because the peppermint definitely helps cover it up but this tea so good and it's literally like what i look forward to um a couple times a week when i have like my slower mornings because it's just like a fun little ritual now that i have this little guy i'll link it down below for you guys i'm gonna make my tea and enjoy it for a bit and also just like kind of catch up with you guys for a minute this morning because i feel like i have some things that i just want to like get off my chest It's definitely pretty hot right now so i'm just gonna like let it cool for a little bit but that's how i make my deep bloat tea that i love to have in the morning it's so good and it's just like literally so refreshing i feel like it definitely helps my stomach out um so i'll definitely link this down below for you guys because if you're in an apartment or if you're moving into a dorm room this is definitely an essential or if you work from home or like even in your office it's such a handy little thing to have and especially if you want to just spice up your routine a little bit i love it i'm gonna set you guys up right here and hopefully this lighting kind of stays consistent while we chat for a bit and spill the tea literally uh, but no i'm just gonna chat with you guys a little bit about like where my headspace has been um kind of just like how i've been feeling especially in terms of like inspiration with social media because it's been so incredibly difficult recently to feel inspired and just like motivated i guess with my content because i have so many different ideas and things that i want to post but i feel like i constantly have to like keep up with the trends and like what's going on and it's not that i feel like i have to in order to like get views 
but it's almost like I subconsciously am falling into the trap of like doing what everybody else is doing. Is that clear? Like on TikTok, I feel like so many of us can relate to this that when one thing goes viral, like everybody starts doing it and then it literally just becomes like the norm and we subconsciously all just kind of are morphing into the same person. For example, the Lululemon belt bags, the Hailey Bieber nails that everybody's doing right now, the parachute pants that are like trending. I understand these are like trends, but it's weird because it's being taken to like a whole new level to where everybody is like doing it. And maybe that's just me seeing it on my For You page and I could be completely wrong and you guys are probably like thinking I'm insane or whatever, but just from what I have felt, I'm sure so many other people have just felt this way. Like, it seems that everything is the same. Everybody's doing the Olaplex, like that was back in quarantine, like the Olaplex, the Gua Sha, and I'm not saying that I'm, you know, this super unique and different person. I definitely and still do fall victim of that all the time. I think subconsciously, just because we're consuming it so much, it's so easy to just like act and be a certain way when it's not even like really truly who you are. So I feel like that's kind of what I'm mentally dealing with a lot right now. And also I'm just feeling like a little bit uninspired because every day has kind of like felt the same for me. And it's like, I really want to switch up my content and make it different for you guys. And I feel like my life is so repetitive. So that's kind of how it seems like in vlogs that I never want to film something just for like my vlog or do something different in my day just for a video like i truly share my day-to-day -day life with you guys and when it does feel boring for me like i don't know if it feels that way for you guys and like that's why i want to just get feedback on what types of videos you guys want to see or what types of things you'd like to see more in my videos i definitely want to start doing like more um cooking content and sharing like different recipes and stuff with you guys but also i'm like what else do you want to see you know because i'm not like a chef but i just want to get um like constructive criticism of what makes you guys watch my videos or maybe what makes you like not want to watch a video if that makes sense and i get a lot of feedback and comments when i'm in minnesota posting vlogs from there which is super interesting to me because whenever i go home i honestly feel very like content and so disconnected from work like I don't feel the pressure of posting on YouTube or anything like that because truly I'm like living in the moment like with my friends or with my family and I was just kind of thrown off and everybody's like oh my god we love your Minnesota vlogs because I'm like what is it like I wonder is it because I have like a different energy or there's just like a different vibe of me when I'm in Minnesota which also I was thinking then like oh my god have I like changed as a person or like are my like Florida vlogs bad or I don't know what it was. I was just like getting so in my own head because then I was like stressing about the fact that like am I more laid back when I'm in Minnesota and like here I just am not like I don't come off as happy or whatever which is weird because i'm like in such like a comfortable happy state of my life obviously there's like ups and downs and i have felt very emotional and anxious recently just due to like other things but that's like i don't really film a lot when i'm like that because i can definitely tell when i am um but i was like is my energy different in Florida? I don't know, I would hope not because like I said, I just feel so happy and like motivated and comfortable here. A complete different type of motivation here versus like when I'm back at home. And maybe it's because people love my Minnesota vlogs because that was when I was in college and kind of essentially once I graduated college and moved out of my apartment, I moved here. So maybe that's like what people miss is just like that college content, which again, throws me into this weird state just being post-grad life and like, Figuring things out, it's definitely really weird. I think I'm still kind of like trying to find my niche again and establish like a different kind of identity. Like I'm no longer a college vlogger. Um, so I'm just wrestling with that transformation, I guess, or like transition, so to say. Um, going from posting all of that college content to now being like, what the heck do I do? And like, more like moral of the story, I'm just in an inspirational rut right now. 
and that's where I would love like feedback or I'm trying to think what else. But yeah, I kind of just post like my typical day-to-day -day life. So then when I'm feeling like uninspired, I'm like, shit, every day feels the same for me. So it probably looks the same for you guys. On that note, um, I'm gonna get to doing some work right now. I know I just chatted about how I'm gonna have like a slow day, but um, I'm just gonna edit a TikTok for a little bit. I have a brand deal that I'm gonna send over and I'm gonna make some breakfast and stuff. And just kind of do some computer work for a bit. I'm just about to run a few errands right now. I've been putting this off for the longest time. I have a few returns that I need to take care of and then I'm gonna stop into Publix and pick up a couple of staples for some dinner and stuff and a salad that I'm gonna make later and show you guys. I wanna make one of my favorite chopped salads and there's a couple more ingredients that I need to make for it. So I'm gonna show you guys that when I get home. For dinner i'm making one of the most simple lazy girl salads to make but it's so dang good so i wanted to share with you guys also it's so great for meal prepping because you can have all of the veggies pre-cut and prepped in your fridge in like little tupperwares which i really like to do or if you're meal prepping for like work the next day you can pre-make the salad and it still tastes as good and fresh the following day so i really like it but i just do a can of chickpeas um half a cup of broccoli florets half a cup of red onion half a cup of bell pepper, and then um, just like however much kale that you want, and then some brown rice. You could do brown rice and quinoa, or just quinoa, whatever you prefer, but I love getting these brown rice quinoa packets from Trader Joe's because it's just like popping it in the microwave for three minutes, and I don't know how to cook rice for the life of me. So these microwavable rice packets are a game changer. And then for the dressing, I honestly just eyeball it up. It really depends on how big of the salad I'm making but I'll do probably about like half a tablespoon of olive oil and then a tablespoon to two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. And then I do equal parts of this Green Goddess seasoning blend within it and some nutritional yeast. So this is really good, so simple to make. This um, Green Goddess dressing, or dressing, the seasoning is from Trader Joe's and I really like it because it has like a hint of lemon, some garlic, some pepper, so it kind of has like a nice Greek little flavor to it. And then I just like mix it all up in a little sauce thing. So that's the super easy salad to make. I love it. And then I just like massage the kale and everything. It's so good.
Obviously, it's been a minute since I last vlogged. I just did my skincare. I'm about to head to bed. I'm pretty tired right now. Um, but essentially, all I did was chill by the pool for a bit. My friends were up there, so I hung out with them. And honestly, stayed up there for longer than I expected. I was going to go up there and just like take a break from editing and read for a bit. But um, I ended up staying up there for like three hours or so. But it was nice to hang out with my friends and just like chill for a while and then it came back obviously made my chop salad which you guys saw um and now it's like 10 30 because i was sitting watching um the summer i turned pretty and also just like watching a bunch of youtube videos and stuff while also multitasking and doing some editing and things so i finished it i'm so sad like it was such a good show it was so cheesy but like I loved it and I don't know I'm sad because like I'll never find a show that I loved as much as that one it just like made me feel so young again and it was just so freaking cute and I did not expect um, the ending to come around like all of a sudden I was like holy crap it just ended like what I want more um, so the ending was kind of unexpected obviously they're gonna come out with a season two which I can't wait for it, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be like next summer and we have to wait, which I'm not patient, so I'm not looking forward to that. But I really want to start watching more like shows. I feel like that's a great way also to just like unwind and disconnect because as much as I do love reading and everything, that's still like a productive, mindful type thing. And sometimes it's nice to do like mindless activities. Um, to unwind that's not like sitting on my phone scrolling on like TikTok or Instagram you know so anyways I'm going to get ready for bed right now or not get ready for bed I already did I'm gonna head to bed in just a second um but yeah it's like 10 30 so I need to go to sleep um I'm gonna read a little bit of this book that I started earlier today because it's so freaking good I love it. I really like how it um, isn't more. So, it's isn't much of like a self help book and like this is how you transform your life type thing. It's more so like a guide, and I feel like it gives really good, tangible things that you can do to change your mindset and just kind of like shift into more of like positive ways of thinking and actionable steps to just like create more of like. A positive and abundant life so I'm gonna read a little bit of this right now and get into bed which I'm so excited for literally didn't even make my bed today because it was just one of those days where I'm like if I crawl into my bed I crawl into my bed it's so hard you guys literally I'm not even kidding ever since I got my new um, bedding like all I want to do is just lay in my bed and it's so hard to get up in the morning but it's the best so um yeah i'm gonna head to bed in just a second here it's like oh it's 11 okay yeah i'm gonna do a bit of reading and then um fall asleep in a second so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i love you all so much make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye